Guys, this is not a new carbine by any means. This is a upgrade. This is actually the Ruger PC carbine that everyone wanted, this chassis. Let's go over some of the details of this fine little shooter. The PC carbine has been out for a couple of years and uh, I'm not going to go over everything on the PC carbine. This is the ultimate PC carbine in my opinion. Uh, it's got some really cool things from the factory from Ruger, but it also has some upgrades on it. First and foremost, let's talk about the pink elephant in the room. Uh, this configuration looks totally different than the original PC carbine. If you remember what the original PC carbine looked like, it had like the traditional rifle stock on it. Uh, it did not have a handrail on it, but it takes down, this particular model takes down the exact same way. Ruger kind of listened to everyone uh, when dealing with the PC carbine. A lot of people wanted to start shooting um, the PC carbine for competitive matches, but the versatility and the controllability of something with a pistol grip you know, they, uh, they wanted to design something. So they designed this chassis around what everyone wanted, like your traditional AR design. So it's got a uh, Magpul stock here that has different positions. So if you have short arms or longer arms like myself, this is a perfect little setup, uh, rubber butt pad right here on the end so it doesn't slip on your shoulder. The pistol grip that I already mentioned, this is a Magpul pistol grip. Uh, it makes controlling this rifle a lot better than trying to grip it up here like a traditional one. Uh, you can grip it here and control uh, this little setup a whole lot better. Uh, again, it takes the regular um, SR9 magazines, but it does come with an adapter that you can put Glock magazines in. This is a 33 round happy stick sent to me by Brownells, and it does have a flared magwell, so it makes it for easy magazine changes and your rail, M locks all over it. Uh, so if you want to mount a flashlight, laser, whatever you want to mount on this M lock rail system, you can. Another little upgrade is this little pick rail right here on the top. So you can mount your optic way up here. Some people like on their rifles, their optics way up front, um, or you can mount like a flush mount flashlight right here. You can do that also. And one of the upgrades that I have done, everything that I mentioned, comes straight from the factory, but a few upgrades that I have done to this little carbine is I put a tandem cross magazine, extended magazine release right here. Not only does it look cool, it also helps instead of a recessed uh, mag release, it's actually extended out probably about a half inch, and it's really easy to drop that mag uh, once you have ran it dry. Now it does come threaded on the end here. I have a tandem cross pro. Uh, this is their muzzle brake. does really good with barrel rise. And last, well, not last, but the trigger. Uh, the PC carbines don't have a bad trigger, in my opinion, but Vakortsen recently released the TG9 trigger. This trigger is like butter. If you've ever fired any of the Vakortsen triggers before, you know how smooth their triggers are. This trigger breaks at 2.25 pounds, and the reset is very short. We talked enough about this setup. Let's shoot it a few more times. Those 124 grain American Eagles don't flip that target too well down there. Let's go out at 100. All right, she runs, she runs great. Now, let's talk about this optic just a little bit. This optic is the Crimson Trace CTS 1100 battle sight. Now, when I first got this sight, I was like, ooh, it kind of looks strange. <laughs> it looks kind of futuristic. But when I started using it, uh, I really dig it. Now, the cool thing about this battle sight is it's three and a half times, 3.5 times magnification. So um, you do get some magnification, but three and a half times is not a deal breaker for up close shots, mid range, or even long range shots. 
This site has an illuminated BDC reticle and you can increase or decrease the brightness of that reticle. Since it does have three and a half times magnification on the front of the site, you can focus the reticle in for however your eyes see it. So if your eyes aren't that great, you can always focus in the reticle. The optic is fog proof, shock proof, and like all Crimson Trace uh, electronic optics, you do get free batteries for life. All right, let's finish out the video with a little bit more shooting. I've had a lot of coffee this morning, so if I talk really, really fast in the video, I apologize. But I've got some American Eagle uh, suppressor ammo, and like all the PC carbines, or most of the PC carbines, it is threaded. This is threaded half by 28. The barrel is fluted like all the other PC carbines. And uh, this is, again, this is not a full review on this rifle. I've already done a full review. I just want to show you the chassis that Ruger came out with and also the upgrades with the magazine release and the Vakorts and Trigger uh, that I've done to this setup. So I've got a magazine here by uh, KCI and this suppressor ammo. And that's one of the beautiful things about nine millimeter. You can shoot 115 grain, 124 grain, 147 grain, or suppressor ammo. It's just fun to shoot, but this is a really quiet setup. All right, here we go. It just will not flip those challenge target dueling tree paddles around. All right, we are out. All right, it does not lock back on this particular magazine, but the Glock magazines and the Ruger magazines, it does lock back. So it's a fun little setup. It's an awesome little setup. And you know what? I'm gonna give away this Crimson Trace Red Dot, uh, this battle site, the CTS 1100. So if you wanna win this, you can go over to my Instagram. Now we'll be giving away on Instagram in the next week or so. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions about this rig, you know, put them in the comments below. Go over to my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep linking. Mm -hmm.